Good afternoon, everyone. I'm meteorologist David Jones with another YouTube Heads Up, this time an update of yesterday's Heads Up that spoke about the first heavy rainfall of the fall season that we're in for this weekend. Let's take a look at the uh, satellite image of the Pacific here. Vancouver is this triangle up in the top right-hand side. And the line across uh, this area here indicates about 30 degrees north latitude. The system that we're concerned about for the next 24 to 36 hours is out about the date line right now. And the big concern here is that this particular weather system has had an injection of subtropical moisture, which will result in some extreme rainfall rates and heavy rain as this system moves on to the the coast of BC in particular. There are a couple of locations, the outer coast of West Vancouver Island and the area of the Sunshine Coast stretching down to Squamish and perhaps into Metro Vancouver as we'll see in a minute are in for some fairly heavy to possibly extreme rainfalls. Way out in the distant uh, Pacific uh, West Pacific, that swirl of clouds you can see is actually a typhoon, Typhoon Prapriron, and that system is not a problem for the weekend, but we may have to deal with the remnants of that system injected into the westerly jet stream for later next week. Back to the short term here, here's the forecast for tomorrow afternoon at 5 p.m. courtesy of uh, CFB Comox. And at this point, that weather system is stretching on to the west coast of Vancouver Island and the rain is going to begin light but slowly amplified to moderate to heavy at times through the afternoon and through the evening and Saturday night. In fact, the rain is going to carry on heavy at times right through Sunday. Here's a 24-hour precipitation total from 5 p.m. Saturday through 5 p.m. Sunday. And again, these deep purple shades indicate in excess of 100 millimeters of rain in that 24-hour period from dinner time Saturday through dinner time Sunday. So because we're only talking about 24 hours here, here's some spot forecasts for the south coast, uh, ranking from highest to lowest. And I've just indicated in red some stations on Vancouver Island just to separate separate them out. And note that these amounts are pushing 200 millimeters in places like uh, the North Shore out towards Maple Ridge. Tofino's at about 160 according to this over the two-day period. These uh, forecast amounts from the models have been fluctuating somewhat so we are just going to ease into this one with the amounts in the public forecast currently reflecting only from say 50 to 150 millimeters of rain at present but as the weekend progresses we may have to increase the rainfall amounts as we get a better handle on just how much rain is coming with this weather system. Here's another look at a few more stations from a Wasp Camp on Wasp Camp on Vancouver Island down to Victoria Harbor. But uh, rainfall warnings may be extended to the east coast of Vancouver Island and as well to the central coast, uh, perhaps to Whistler too. But uh, again, we're going to ease into that as the weekend progresses. I uh, want to uh, just thank you again for watching and uh, stay tuned through the weekend for some updates on the weather warnings from the Weather Office at Environment Canada. Thanks again.